we're land animals. And so when we go into the ocean and we have this ability to see it, it's just so incredibly different. My name is Dylan Vecchioni, and I'm the founder of ReefQuest, which is a nonprofit organization fostering marine environmental stewardship. And ever since a, a young age, I've been out sailing, I've been swimming. My name actually means of the sea, and so maybe that has something to do with it. But I really developed my, my strong passion for the ocean when I was snorkeling off the coast of Maui in Hawaii. Uh, on a reef called Kaikili. And I really grew to love that specific reef because that was the reef I'd been going to year after year. And through the years, I've seen it degrade as well. And I saw the colors disappear and I saw the biodiversity shrink and dissipate into almost nothing. And I decided to do something about it. I'm Maurizio and I'm Dylan's dad. You know, I knew that he was getting very serious about uh, this issue about the coral reef that was very personal to him because this was the place that he felt he had grown up. It was his, almost like his backyard. And when he saw it uh, basically dying, he, he took it very, very personally. So what I did is I, I was reaching out to different experts, so scientists, mentors, even tourists on the beach asking if they knew what was happening. I was seven years old. And literally um, going up to uh, tourists that would say things like, oh, I'm stepping on the rocks, and he would yell at them, says, it's, it's alive, it's not a rock, don't step on it. ReefQuest, our mission statement is fostering marine environmental stewardship through citizen science. What we do is we go into the water, we take panoramic pictures using some of our cameras that we take down there, and we upload that online. And so the imagery really online, once it's stitched into this panoramic view using some software, it's used as the, the platform for this, the data. And what that is, it's a visualized survey, basically, of what's actually going on in the water. In the ocean, everything is interconnected. So the coral reefs affect the, the biodiversity, the biodiversity affects the entire food chain of the oceans. And what most people don't know is that actually the oceans, one of the many things that they do, is providing 50% of the world's oxygen taking the panoramic shots with all of our, our gear, all of our cameras, and really it's been a learning process through the years. So ReefQuest is doing something new now, it's called the Wired Reef, and it's using the virtual reef but adding some physical measurements. And so with technology, with some sensors being developed, we've been placing down on the reef so that with the visualization tools, with the virtual reef, we can then overlay some physical measurements and data that we collect to see how those correlate with the actual health of the reef. When creating the virtual reef, I dive underwater nowadays, scuba diving with my dad. Scuba diving has been an adventure for the family. We discovered it together. As we went through the, the courses together, first open water diver all the way up, now we're rescue divers. Being underwater, looking at these incredible sights, and also being weightless is such an incredible feeling. And it's, it's as if being in outer uh, space, just in the opposite direction. The notion of building a community online and the idea of sort of taking, taking the reef to the people when the people can't go to the reef, those are sort of philosophical approaches that he, he had very early. He had that vision. How can people care about the reef if they can't see it? One of ReefQuest's most recent project is in conjunction with the Coral Reef Alliance. And what we're doing is we're adapting the virtual reef and bringing it to politicians in Hawaii so that they can see how their decisions are affecting the underwater world. I mean, as parents and as a dad, you always look for opportunities to try to do something with your kid. And Dylan is a teenager, and normally, you know, that's the time when your kids pull away, and this has really brought us close. Kids have many passions sometimes, and identifying that one that they really speaks to them is what I did as a seven-year-old and I found that the ocean was my, that passion, that passion of mine. You know, his, his perseverance has completely uh, inspired us and it's been really a bonding experience. 